This is Paula with Pilates along with the UMBC Rec. I would like to thank you for joining me today for class. I want to remind you that you should always consult your healthcare provider prior to starting a new exercise regimen or changing your exercise regimen. Please remember to wear comfortable yet flexible clothing for this class, a nice breathable top as well as leggings. Breathable leggings work just fine. Shoes are not required, and I actually ask you not to wear shoes during this class, but socks are definitely optional. Please remember to follow us on our Instagram page as well as our YouTube channel at UMBC Rec. If you're ready to get started, then so am I. Let's go ahead and start with cat. So hands are underneath the shoulders. Knees are underneath the hips, ankles in line with the knees. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, come back to flat back. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, again, Keep going. Four more. And three. Two more. And one more. All right, let's come on down to our back. And let's do our alternating leg raises. So inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, lower, inhale, exhale, lower, and lift. Lift, lower, lower. Last one. Good. Turn over onto your side. And let's do our spinal rotation. Opening our chest and keeping our chest open for two breaths. Make sure you're nice and lined up with the back edge of your mat. Lift your oblique. This is the side closest to the mat to keep your spine in alignment. Make sure your head is in, is in alignment as well. Inhale and exhale, rotate. Follow the hand, the rotation. Keep your knees together, keep your ankles together. Get your ears close to the floor or the mat as possible. Once your chest is open, give me two single breaths. After your second single breath, you're going to inhale and exhale on the close. Let's do that again. Two breaths. The 
just close it up. Let's open it again. Let's close it. One more on this side. Now let's flip to the other side. Okay, remember your alignment. Remember book two breaths once your chest is open. Oblique is lifted and let's open. Two breaths, then we close. Let's do it again. And two more, two more sets. Open. While looking back at the hand, give me the first breath. Now for the second breath. And let's close. Last time. Let's close. All right, let's turn over to our back and let's do our hip rolls with our knees shoulder width apart, arms at the side, ankles underneath your knees, and inhale and drive. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, push up. Keep those feet planted. Inhale, lower. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And let's do two more. Exhale.
Let's do one more, one more. Remember, chin always hovers over the chest. Very nice. Okay, let's go into our neck lengthening, okay? For this, your chin is going to touch your chest and you're gonna use your eyes to gaze over your chest and aim to look for your belly button, okay? Opening up the spaces between each vertebrae for this exercise. Each vertebrae in the neck, that is. Here we go, tuck the chin and look over the chest. Keep your spine pressed into the mat or pulled into the mat and then relax. You'll find your shoulders drop down a bit. Inhale. Exhale and tuck. Inhale, release. Exhale and tuck. And again. And again. Last one. Now, let's swing our arms up for protraction and retraction. Give your spaces some, give your fingers some space too. So inhale, exhale, push up, reach up through the fingertips. Keep your head, neck, and spine on the mat. Keep your feet planted and then lower down. Exhale, reach, feel the pull on the muscles in your upper back as you reach for the imaginary ball above you. Inhale, lower. Exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale. And reach. Give me three more. And two. And one more. Now let's go for our arm circle. So lower your arms down by your side and we're going to do our scissors version of our arm circle. So we're going to inhale, lift, inhale, lift, exhale, round, exhale, round, inhale, lift, inhale, lift, exhale, round, exhale, round. Keep your back pressed into the mat. If you have your back pressed into the mat, then your back should not pop off the mat and cause you to have a semicircle underneath the lower back. Therefore, there should be no lower back discomfort in doing this exercise. You'll also find that your arms will not reach the floor or the mat when you have proper alignment and are pulling your belly button towards your spine. Okay, give me two more sets. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Exhale, last set. Now turn your arms so your palms are down and let's do abdominal curls. Now lift your head, lift your shoulders, change your gaze, and lower down. Inhale, when you reset, exhale when you lift. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Lower and lift. Lower 
down. Give me two more. Lift. And last one. Very nice. All right, put your arms down at your side, take a breather, and let's prepare for 100. Remember, arms remain at your side, but elevated and pumping up and down for a five count. Inhale, five count, exhale. Today, we're going to do smooth breathing, smooth breathing. So it's not staccato breathing. It is not the, it is simply, and you're inhaling for the total five count. So it would go more like this. And, okay, remember that. Legs either down on the mat, tabletop, or extended at a 45 degree angle with your toes pointed. All right, go ahead and pick your position. You can also have your head down on the mat or come up in a C-curl for an additional uh, crunch in the upper part of the core. All right, here we go. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Hold and lower down. Very good. Okay, let's get ready for rolling like a ball. Go ahead and grab behind your knees. Come to a seated position. And today you can hold behind your knees for rolling like a ball. Sit up nice and tall. And then pull your belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Keep your head tucked. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again. Keep going. Three more. And two. And one more. Very nice. All right, extend your legs, lay all the way back, and let's get ready for a single leg circles. So with one leg extending, the other leg is going to be raised into the air with the toes pointed. Imaginary clock is on the ceiling. Big toe is the imaginary hand on that clock. And what's going to be guiding you? Circle towards the outside, so going clockwise first, depending on the right direction you're laying in. And inhale when the knees come closer together. Exhale when they're farther apart. Inhale, exhale. Pull your belly button in. Keep your tailbone down on the mat. Keep your arms on the mat. Focus on your breathing. Hold in your scoop, which is your belly button pulled into your spine. Give me three more in this direction. Two and one. Hold it and go counterclockwise. No bend in the knee, rotating through the hip.
Smaller circles are easier. Larger, faster circles are a little bit more challenging. Give me three more. And two. And one. Finish it out. Bring that leg in. Lower it down. And let's lift the other leg into the air, toes pointed, and let's circle clockwise first. going. Give me three more. Two. And one more. Now let's move counterclockwise and go. two, and one more. Good. Bring that leg in and lower it down to the mat. Bring both legs to a tabletop. Bring your hands on the outside of your calf and let's get ready for our single leg stretch with one single breath, okay? So single breath with your single leg stretch. Come on up in the seat curl and pull it in. And inhale, knees together, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Give me three more sets. Support the bottom of the foot and the top of the knee. Two more sets. Last set. Very nice. Now extend your legs into the air, toes pointed, and let's do scissors for a single breath. So bring it in, inhale. Excuse me, exhale, inhale as they pass, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take it as far as your leg allows. Don't strain yourself. Two more sets. Last set. Very nice. Bring your knees to tabletop and let's prepare for our double leg stretch. So hands on the outside of your calves. Calves are parallel with the mat. Knees are over the hips. Knees are also in line with the ankles. And here we go. So keep your head on the mat today. Bend to the elbow. Extend your arms and your legs and circle. 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Give me three more. Finish right where you started. Two. And give me one more. Very nice. All right, let's practice our rollover. So legs are up in the air, feet together, arms down at your side, no pushing on the lower back. Make sure you have enough space over your head. If you don't, it's all right to take the time to adjust. But remember, no pushing on your lower back. That's very important, very, very important. Head stays down on the mat. Shoulders stay down on the mat. Hands stay down on the mat. Feet are up. Legs are lengthened. Let's go ahead and inhale. Lower down the legs. Exhale. Bring them over the head. Open to a small V. Close it back. And inhale as you lower your spine back into the mat. Good, let's do that again. So inhale, lower. Exhale, over. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, lower. Exhale, release. Inhale, lower. Exhale, over. Inhale, open, no wider than the mat. Exhale, close. Inhale, lower. Exhale, release. Okay, keep that going for two more sets. Inhale, lower. Exhale, over. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, lower. Exhale, release. Last time. Very nice. All right, go ahead and lower your legs down to a bent knee position. We're going to do shoulder bridge. We're going to keep our waistband and glutes on the mat for shoulder bridge today. But today we're going to lower our leg all the way down to our ankle. So make sure that with, when you're in the bent knee position, your knees aren't caving in and touching. But your knees are over the ankles. They're no wider than shoulder width. Arms remain at the side of your body, sides of your body. You're going to look up at the ceiling, and you're going to take one leg, doesn't matter which one, and you want to bring it, extend it into the air. So remember, we lower with the heel, so you got to flatten your foot. You're going to feel the stretch in your calf. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, point the toes and come up. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest, lower the foot down, let's switch the legs out. Extend the, the leg and inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's switch it out. Now, remember, you're not haphazardly just laying on the mat. Your belly button is pulled to your spine. Your spine is pressed into the mat. You are breathing in deeply. You are exhaling deeply, okay? Let's do that again. Extend that leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's switch it out. Opposite leg. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, switch, back to the first leg, switch. 
switch it out. Second leg. And lower, let's switch back to the first leg for the last set. One more. And switch, last leg. Last one. Bring it in and lower that foot down. Great job. All right, let's turn it over and let's do some heel squeezes, okay? So, arms are going to be bent at the elbow. Hands are going to overlap. Knees are going to be open and apart, but heels and the feet are going to be together. Forehead is going to rest on the top hand. And we're just going to squeeze the heels together, okay? No lifting of the thighs off the mat. And inhale, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, inhale, release, exhale, squeeze, release, squeeze, keep going. Two more. Last one. Very nice. Go ahead and lower your legs down. And let's get ready for our shell stretch. So bring your hands to the outside of your chest. Tuck your toes. Lift your chest. Bring your glutes down to your heels. Once they reach there, untuck your toes and bring your forehead to the mat. Then round your arms and bring them to the outside of your legs. And then you want to inhale, exhale round. Feel the stretch down your spine and into your shoulders. Inhale, lower down. And exhale around. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and two more sets. Last set, last one. Good. All right, now gently lift your head off of the mat and gently come down to a seated position for a seated spine stretch. Legs are stretched out in front of you, no wider than the mat, sitting up nice and tall. Chest is forward and keep your sit bones on the mat and simply hinge at the hips. Walk your hands forward and stretch, okay? You should feel a nice stretch in the back of your legs. You should feel a nice stretch down your back. Drag your fingers in and come back up to a seated position. Now, exhale, hinge. 
Inhale, come to seated. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Let's lay down and let's do our neck pull, okay? So, your legs are going to remain abduct, so open. And you're going to lay all the way back. You're going to bend your arms at the elbows, stacking your hands and placing them on your forehead. So you're kind of in the reverse position from when you were doing heel squeezes. But your legs are lengthened. You're going to inhale, keeping your elbows apart. You're going to exhale and come up. You're going to come up to a seated position, looking forward. You're going to inhale, and you're going to hinge at the hip. Then you're going to roll up. And then you're going to recline back, pushing on your forehead as you lower down. Okay? All right. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two more just like that, inhale, exhale, keep your hands on your forehead, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, very nice. All right, release your hands, come up to a seated position, bring your legs into your hands, and we're going to practice open leg rocker. First with our knees bent, then with our legs extended, okay? Here we go. Come on up. Hands, calves in your hands. Make sure you have space behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, round. Exhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. So inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Keep that 90 degree in your legs. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, roll up. Inhale. Exhale. You have to look forward. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now we're going to practice with our legs extended. Remember, get that balance on your sit bones. And also remember to look forward and up. A little bit okay it'll help you with your momentum when you come back up all right if you wobble a little bit if you falter a little bit, if you fall it's okay it's okay just try it here we go toes pointed get your balance look for where you're starting and nice and tall to start inhale round exhale inhale exhale 
Try to hold at the top. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep your legs lengthened. Give me two more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the head off the mat. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Very good. Good effort, good try. That's what I'm looking for. All right, let's go into our side leg variations. So lay on your side. And arms by the ear. And other feet are kicked to the opposite corner. Hand is in front of the chest. And we're going to do our unilateral leg lift first. Stay on the hip. And then we're going to come up and do an exercise on your bent knee. Okay? So follow me. Here we go. Unilateral leg lift. And inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Give me two more. Give me one more. Good, nice and controlled. Now we're going to do leg circles, okay? So lift one leg up, keep your oblique up, and let's circle. Circle, circle. Doesn't matter which direction you start in, as long as you remember. Three more, two, and one. And let's go counterclockwise, circle, Circle and circle. Good. Four, three, two, and one. And lower down. Very nice. Okay. Now I want you to come up on the same side that you're on. Bend the knee of that side. Okay. And extend the leg of the opposite side. All right. So for me, I was laying on my left side. So my left knee is going to be bent. My right leg is going to be extended. I'm leaving my left arm with the hand flat on the mat. And I'm taking my right arm, bending it at the elbow, and bringing my fingertips to my temples. Keeping my ear parallel to the mat. Now, while I'm in this position, I am going to do my kick. Okay, so we're gonna lift the leg, we're gonna kick, kick, and return. Okay, let's do it together. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Give me two more. Inhale, inhale, exhale. One more. Good. Lower that foot down, and let's do abductors while we're here. Notice I'm keeping my ankle behind my knee, okay? All right, alignment is important. Important alignment. All right, here we go. Lift, lower. Lift, and lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Give me two more. Lift. And lower, one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. Come on up. Let's switch to the other side. Lay down first. Line up with the back edge of your mat. Arm is up by your ear. Both feet to the opposite corner. Good. Hands in front of your chest. Unilateral leg lift first. Here we go. Oblique is up. Lift, lift, lower. Three more. Two. One more. Very nice. All right, lift that top leg and let's do our circles. Here we go. Three more, two, 
and one, counterclockwise. Three more, two, and one, and lower down. Now let's come on up on the side. Laying on, I was laying on my right side, so my right knee is going to be down on the mat. Right hand down on the mat. Left arm bent at the elbow, fingertips by the temple. Ankle behind the knee, and we're going to do kicks first. So we're going to go inhale, inhale, exhale. Don't swing back behind you, okay? Inhale, inhale, exhale. Stop it right where it started. Give me two more. One more. Point, point, heel. Good. Lower down and let's do our abductors. Ready? Here we go. Two more. One more. Very nice. All right. Let's come on up for a second. And then let's lower down into the mat on our tummy for swan. Okay? So, for swan, we are going to have our chest on the mat, hands outside of the chest. Legs are long, feet are plant our flex. Let's bridge the foot down. We are going to inhale, exhale, push up. Feel that nice stretch in the front of the body. And if you so choose, okay, we are going to rock for one. So that is the release of the hands, allowing the momentum to lift your legs, and then allow your hands to come back underneath you so that it can prop you up just as you are now. And here we go. All right, good. Exhale when you rock, try it, and go. Good, again, exhale when you rock. Inhale as you push up, exhale when you rock. Here we go. Good, again. Arms go forward when you rock, two more. And one more. Good. Inhale, lower down. Very nice job. All right. To finish this out, we are going to turn over and do seal. So remember, you're going to come to a seated position, bring the soles of your feet together, round, excuse me, scoop your hands through your legs, grabbing the ankles from the outside, rock back, we're going to clap, seal hand clap, and then we're going to roll up on an exhale. Lift those ankles and pull back, clapping for as many times as you can, okay? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Give me two more, one more, very nice. All right, let's face each other. Crisscross applesauce, and let's do our three breaths. So inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Very nice job today. I want to thank you for joining me, Paula, for Pilates along with the UMBC Rec. It was great to be with you today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.